guys welcome back so today I wanted to talk to you guys just briefly about a new palette that I picked up not too long ago for some reason I've just been in a colorful rainbow palette frenzy lately and I've probably purchased about at least six colorful or rainbow type palettes over the past couple of months and there's just been a lot of indie brands and stuff like that that I've been coming out with stuff that has really been catching my attention and you guys know how I'm really trying to try out more indie brands just to kind of see how these palettes are going to work test out their formulas see about the pigment if I like them you know if they're reasonably priced or not so this is one of the palettes that I wanted to test out for you guys and it also caught my attention which made me just want it for my collection but I really feel like I need to pump my brakes on these colorful palettes because I mean once you have three or four you know you really have enough but anyway this palette today is from the Makeup Shack this is what the palette looks like so it's kind of a little bit more down like low-key packaging you know it's not so bright colorful flamboyant but I really like this packaging it's nice and sleek it's your regular cardboard packaging it's white so I'm sure it's gonna get dirty but it has these little brush strokes it says makeup shack and this is the rainforest palette it just has the name down here really really small but it's called the rainforest palette and on the back it does list the ingredients it does have 52.5 grams of product in here now I haven't been able to find anything on the palettes or on the website regarding their cruelty free status I don't remember um, in my previous videos if I was able to find it somewhere so I'm not gonna say that they are maybe they aren't because I can't find it but anyway this is what the back of the palette looks like so it is it's a lot different than the palettes that usually come out as bright colorful palettes they usually want the actual packaging to be bright and colorful but this one is nice I like it and it does come with a matching sleeve for the palette and I really really like the sleeves because the boxes get really hard to open especially if you have nails it's just a nightmare <laughs> so anyway this is what this palette looks like okay you guys you might look at it and be like oh it's just another basic rainbow palette there's no mirror in here as you can see it just has the name up top but this palette is really really pretty you guys and the reason why I kind of felt like this was a different type of rainbow palette is because as you can see up here you do have some nice just basic neutral colors to make an everyday look you do have some different color shimmers in here this one is gorgeous this is pretty this gold is beautiful and then this one here is kind of like a duochrome and this one is kind of like a blue green shift so there are some different shades in here that kind of make it not your basic regular rainbow palette and these green shades up here which I am a little confused because these two shimmers look very very similar this is a matte which I really really like I love that kind of like army green color but these two shimmers confuse me because they're very similar I'll have to swatch them and see what's going on there now this video is really just me wanting to kind of touch bases with you guys share with you this blue green look that I created today using this palette I wanted to just kind of get my feet wet see how a few of the shades perform now I actually used about seven shades today I think and as you can see they were mainly the blue and green shadows and just from my look that I did today I really like the pigmentation I think that the pigmentation this navy blue down here is really really nice as you can see I have it in my crease this green here smoked it out very nicely and it is nicely pigmented it's actually pretty pretty gorgeous right next to that blue this light kind of fluorescent green worked out perfectly for the edge of this whole look I really like that this color here which is what I have in my inner corner really really surprised me because I expected it to just be your basic light you know 
shimmer shadow but it kind of has a little bit of a green shift to it as well so it really went well with this eye look I was surprised by that but all of the shadows that I used today were very nicely pigmented they blended out very well together so I was kind of surprised because you guys this palette retails for $12.99 okay so that is an amazing price for 35 colorful shadows and also you guys know i love when you get a black in a palette a rainbow palette and i love when you get a white in a rainbow palette so those two matte shadows really just kind of made me feel like yes i'm in love okay so like i said it's not a full-on review I just wanted to share this look with you guys that I will have at the end of this video and I also wanted to just let you guys know that I am going to be doing probably about three more looks in a row from this palette I'm going to do a purple look because these purples are really pretty I want to do a red and orangey type look like a sunset type look and I also want to do kind of like a basic everyday boring look <laughs> I'm sorry for those of y'all who love everyday looks I don't okay doing an everyday look for me is actually extremely hard because it just is it's really really hard for me to do just a basic everyday look but I do I want to use those for that I want to do a red kind of sunset look and a purpley look since I already did a blue and green look so my next three videos might just be me doing those different looks trying out this palette so I can really get a feel for all of the shadows to give you a full-on review and that's about it like I said $12.99 and I used Rocio's code if you aren't familiar with Rocio say hi here on YouTube she does the bomb rainbow eyeshadow looks I mean she is just so so talented so make sure you check her channel out but she does have a code for this palette that hopefully it still works but when I used it it took the palette down to ten dollars and forty cents okay so it's kind of like a no-brainer for this palette 35 shades for 10 bucks okay the shipping was six bucks but you know can't get around that so anyway just wanted to pop in share with you guys some information about this palette from the makeup shack this is not my first makeup shack palette my first makeup shack palette was the muse palette i fell in love with this palette when i saw it this palette is what i think about 16.99 and the colors in here were just a bit unique to me i really liked the green the orange the lavender up there it's just a really different nice change of pace as far as palettes go and you guys see these pan sizes are absolutely huge and like I said, the pricing was like $16.99. Very inexpensive for these palettes. And the last palette I purchased before the Rainforest was this Majestic. I do have videos for all of these palettes, so I will go ahead and link it above. But this Majestic palette from the Makeup Shack, it's the same nice. I like the size of these as well. They're very easy to handle and hold. And these smaller palettes have mirrors. The larger palette doesn't, but these smaller palettes do. And this is what the Majestic looks like. So it's a bit more... How can I say? I just, I call this palette grown and sexy. <laughs> you know, it's just the colors in here just make me feel like, you know what? You grown, okay? You grown. This is not, this palette is not for play play, okay? It's not for play play. This is some grown stuff right here. And although the shadows didn't look as vibrant when I actually got the palette in my hand as they did online, the eyeshadow look that I created with this palette, I really liked it. I really liked it, you guys. It was it was a little sexy. It was a little sexy, okay? So anyways, let me go ahead and show you the Muse up close too because I didn't show you this one up close. But this is what the Muse palette looks like up close. Very pretty, just gorgeous. Some nice shimmers, nice warm tones in there. But that green and that purple just kind of take it to a whole different level, you know, just to give you some other options. So anyway that's all i have to say about these makeup shack palettes you guys hopefully you will enjoy watching me do this look really quickly i'm just going to edit it up 
and put it in for you guys just in case you want to know how I did this I did use a green eyeliner now the green eyeliner that I used I got from Aliexpress <laughs> Okay, y'all know ColourPop came out with all them bomb, like colorful eyeliners and mascaras and stuff. And I don't know, I was feeling cheap that day, you guys. So I was like, you know, let me go on AliExpress and see what's popping with their liners and just test some out because if they're any good, if they last or if they work nicely, then you know, you guys might want to check them out yourself because these are only like a dollar something each. You know, they're real cheap on AliExpress. You know, it take a month to get to you, but they still really cheap so with this green as you can see the color is popping the pigment is there I did have to go over it just a couple of times you know to get the opacity right okay for a dollar fifty or whatever you're not gonna get color pop <laughs> you know opacity but I look ain't nothing wrong with it so I will let you guys know if my eyes start burning or if they start falling out or something y'all will find out so anyways i did use this green eyeliner from aliexpress and the brand is hand hand dying hand dying so anyways this is what it looks like if you're thinking about going to pick it up you know sometimes it's hard to find things on aliexpress and i also used kind of like a 3d iridescent topper and this is one of the jcat 3d eye toppers that i used i did use one of these just on my spotlight or halo portion of my eye as well so i did use that so anyways i just kind of mixed it up a little bit for y'all today so hopefully you like this look like i said if you want to see how i did it I'll stop rambling and we'll just go ahead and move on to the tutorial.